Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to more enjoyment of Dark Souls 3. I remain your host, Chad, if you're and we remain in the Smoldering Lake. We'll hop, skip, and a jump away, and we should get to more of Smoldering Lake. Like crabs. Lots and lots of crabs. I mean, they exist. That's what crabs do. Exist, eat stuff, snap at things, occasionally try to kill me. But we can actually fight them now, so as the ballista is not in our way. There's also a cave. However, I do want to double-check a few things up here first, like get more Estus, since I'm very low on Estus, and I'd rather not, you know, go into that cave, since... Well, I mean, there's maybe a fight there. Who knows? Okay, I've given it away. Obviously, there's a fight there. I mean, I wouldn't use that tone of voice if there wasn't. But, yeah, there's a thing to deal with in that cave bit of a challenge, so I want to make sure that I am prepared. I am now prepared. Let us continue. Also, the rest of Smoldering Lake, because there's loads of Titanite Shards. Large Titanite Shards. I think maybe some chunks. I'd have to double check. I know large Titanite Shards for sure. They're everywhere. There's also a few Titanite Lizards, and no large Titanite Lizards, so Twinkling Titanite's available. Yeah, large Titanite Shard available. I think this is one that... Is it, which one of these drops you down? One of these you drop into the area but that have been in, that we've explored already the last episode. I don't really want to get to there if I can avoid it because that I've explored it. I don't need to go down there. So first off, the lake area here, which as mentioned before does have a couple of titanite lizards. There's the first one, although I think you might actually have a gem if I recall correctly. Let's see. Ah, get back here. Yeah. Okay, that is Twinkling Titanite, and the second one is something else. I don't remember what exactly, but don't run that way. No, wrong way. Okay, fine. That's a wall. You can... just die. There we go. Oh, they're resistant to magic. And yes, there's a reason I'm shooting at it rather than going after it because... Okay, Titanite Chunk, I was correct. Because that guy. That guy over there. Guess who that guy is? We've been looking for them. It's Horus! Yeah, this is gonna be a... Oh, hey. Okay, you have a shield. You don't have a shield anymore? Oh, well, pff, I screwed that up. No, come on, come on. Oh, you're actually being really... Pff, kick on kick. I... Okay, well, whatever. You don't have a shield anymore. Good luck with that. Oh, you do have a shield. How did you... Okay, that's good to know. I didn't know you could actually switch from roll into two-handing like that. Ow. Oh, you're... Wow, you're easier than I expected you to be. Also, if there are weapons like that, it's... No, it's just block. I thought it was a parry. Well, anyway. Goodbye, Horus. I hardly knew ye. And your Llewellyn shield. At least I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm not Welsh. I just looked up how to pronounce Welsh one day. Yellow bug pellet and a couple large tide night shards. That's basically the area. I mean, we've been through quite a bit of it before already. It's tide night shards upon tide night shards. Which is good, because at this point I have, let's see, longbow, four, witch tree branch, five. So I still need large tide night shards for the longbow and whatever I'm using for spell casting. Tide night chunks for the daggers. What I really want, though, are tide night scales or sufficient souls to get Titanite Scales off of Greyrat. That will get me enough that I can upgrade the Dancer's Blades again. Which will put them on par with the Cellsword Twin Blades. At least in theory. Now, crabs! Although, crabs are fairly simple. I mean, this is crabs. We've dealt with crabs before. I mean, this one's got... It's a tanky crab. And now I have water all over me. I feel... Okay, I, like, I feel the need for a cleanser, but that's the wrong game. Again, I make these comparisons to Monster Hunter, and I don't know entirely why, but it, that's... That makes sense to me. You know, it's like, I have water on me, and so I, I use the item that you use to cleanse water. Aha! Regardless, though, this crab is dead. And it only... Oh. Okay, it only just regular Titanet shards. Yeah, this is gonna be a thing. I I feel the need to murder crabs. I don't necessarily feel the need to 
burden you all with watching it all, though, so... Death of Crabs montage! That wasn't actually too hard. And that Aldrich Ruby really paid off, though. It's good to know those crabs actually do double critical. Because the stab, each damage tick, counts as part of the Aldrich Ruby trigger. So I actually get twice as much health back from criticaling those crabs than from most things. That might be actually true for all times where you do a critical that does a double attack. We've got to look for that. Because there have been more enemies where, like, I, I stab them, and then they get damaged both in the stab and on the release. That apparently heals me up both times. Cool. I wonder if someone should tell Limit Breakers about that. At any rate, that is good to know. So that's what, like 160 health on a critical attack? That's those double critical attacks? That's pretty cool. Anyway. There is also Sandworm. Sandworm, I believe, is actually protecting this item right here. No, it's protecting that item right there. There's something over there. And again, I feel I don't want to fight this yet so much as prepare to fight it, because those crabs were just a cakewalk. I, I knew how to deal with crabs. Oh, right. Lightning. It does that. Okay, how do I deal with this again? I know I can go past it. I'm just not sure if I've already wasted the opportunity to do so. Okay, actually, that might be fine. It's... Ah, yes, the lightning even goes way above my head, so I can just go. I can just go. And the shield of want, which, again, I don't really need. And I'll be back for you later. Don't you worry. Okay. I wonder how many souls I actually got from all those crabs, now that I think about it. I mean, before I go trying to deal with a sandworm. Just, you know, crabs are probably worth quite a lot of souls. 32,000. Ooh, actually, that's two Titan End skills. Cool. Alright, well, I have some things to deal with. I have some business to attend to. And I just realized there's actually something else I wanted to look at before dealing with the serpent. Or the sandworm. Because I didn't quite explore this area as fully as I would have liked to. Anyway, I just kill you. Ah. I mean, you're gonna die, right? Ow. Am I going to get my HP back? That's for sure. Alright. And another Titanite Shard. There's a lot of... I mean, this Titanite Shards, like I said, they're going to be just money. I'm just going to spend... I'm just going to sell them. Use them for other things. Maybe get large Titanite Shards, even though those are actually becoming currency as well. That's kind of weird. Ow. Can I backstab you guys? I can! Oh, good! That saves on an Estus. Ow. I mean, I say that as I'm on the verge of death, thanks to all this... Never mind verge of death, I'm overestimating my ability to resist fire here. I realize that killing those will get rid of their fire orbs. Maybe I should just get rid of the fire orbs. It just dawned on me. It occurs to me. Maybe their fire orbs are the problem. Or maybe I just need to have a magic weapon and then go from there. Bit embarrassing. So at this point, I can soul arrow away some of these. Good. I should even come up here. Get yeah, thanks, thanks. That's perfect. Ow. Ideal time to parry, huh? Okay, whatever. Aha! Ideal time to backstab! Unless I shoot you through the wall, in which case it wasn't so ideal. <laughs> I'm always a little weird about collision in these games, because I'm never quite sure how reliable it's going to be. Things just fall through walls sometimes. It's just a thing that happens. Like, you know. Walking along, and then all of a sudden, a wall just stops being solid. And things just sort of fall through it as if they were... Ah, great. Okay, this is a problem. Why? Okay, there's something I'm missing. There's one of these guys who's not clearly there. I can't see where they are, because there's obviously someone 
some other one of these crow demon things that's doing something. It's not this one, because I'm pretty sure any individual crow demon can only have two fireballs at a time. I guess we'll find out once I kill this thing, whether or not all the rest of these go away. And... Oh, no, apparently they were. Okay, I guess that was changed. My memory either is wrong or, yeah, it was changed. Because last time I recall, it was like you had to have that one thing, and that was it. And magic! Although I probably should... Ow. Switch over to my actual magic weapon so I don't have to worry about enchantment. Yeah. 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 Ha! Yeah. Give me my health. Thank you for the health. And for dying, which also gives me health. And also, yeah, that... I think that looks like an Estus shot. Ah! No! Wait. I was talking. I was talking! Okay, back to talking. The thing that looks like Estus... Because there's a thing that looks like Estus that's coming out of them. That's... Oh, come on. Seriously? Seriously, rocks? You're gonna be getting my way? But yeah, that is the healing from the... From the Ring of the Evil Eye. Like that yellow bit there. Which is confusing, because it looks very similar to what it looks like when you get Estus back from killing an enemy. So, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Also, there is yet one more... Actually, a couple more things to deal with here. And I don't remember where they all are, because there's one there that I can't get to easily. I think I have to go around. And there's another one that involves going straight down at the bottom. It's going to be kind of interesting. But, I mean, you've seen this part before. Oh! That's how I get to this side. Okay, there was a secret wall. So what does the spider thing have? Oh, Quilana Pyramids. I was going to say, what does the Quilana, Quilite, whatever spider have in store for me? And the answer is a tome. Also lava. This is, I believe, the other side of the bit of lava that was there. I mean... I think that's below the bridge. I'm trying to remember now. See, here's the problem. Well, okay, there's two problems, actually. The one is that if I go in, I think it's a one-way trip. I mean, apart from the fact that lava is incredibly deadly. I think... Ow. I think the way it works, though, is actually you get... If physical damage resistance is the way that you avoid getting damage. Which, I'll grant, doesn't really help me much, since I have very little that actually improves physical damage resistance. I think... I think the brass armor might be the best armor I have for that. that I... I must have never picked up Lothic Knight armor. Weird. Ow, hey, what? No, back. Okay, there we go, that's better. Much better. Much, much, much better. Dancer's blades are paying for themselves. Except that everything that I gain here is going to be for nothing, because I'm going to be walking into lava and dying. Suicide mission, ho! Yeah. So, there's clearly no easy way of getting to that other one. Maybe if I drop down from the area that has the hole in it, I might be able to get to it and then die. And, yes, you heard me. My goal in this case is to die productively. Come to think of it, that's pretty much far for the course for Dark Souls. I don't really see where that's the problem. But yeah, that area there, there's a couple areas that are like that. There are pools of lava, and to my knowledge, there's no orange charred ring, although we already found the silver cat ring does exist, so who knows, maybe there is one. And that means that, as far as I know, there's no easy way to avoid just dying in there. Like, you're basically going in to die. Best thing I could do would be to waste an ember in order to get a higher HP total and allow me to take two or three more steps. Yeah, how close is this to the item that I found? Oh, well. Sucks to be you. I mean, I'll be joining you soon, but still, sucks to be you. Oh, no, bad. No, bad. Okay, how do I... Ah! Where the heck... Oh, well, good to know. I'm right next... Okay, that didn't help at all. I'm right next to the area that I was trying to get away from. Good to know. There's no easy way there. Maybe that jump is the way to go, though. I think I've died more often in Smoldering Lake by my own hand than I have thanks to the enemies. Ah, nope. Oh, wait. What? Oh, I don't need to jump, do I? No, I don't. What a fool I was. Fool with a death wish. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that's... Well, that was a waste. 
I lo I died twice for nothing. Okay, well, at any rate. There's still more to explore and more lava to dive into. Always more lava to dive into. That's just a rule. You can always dig deeper, and then you burn to death. I mean, at that point, I'd recommend not digging. Just, just maybe no. Maybe leave the digging to the professionals. At this point, it's professional suicide artist, apparently, but still, you know, the professionals. So, down here, I think there will be an enemy popping up. Yes, there is. I thought I had to go... I wasn't trying. I thought maybe I had to be in... Oh, what are you doing? Ow! Okay, that didn't work. I thought you had to be embered up, but apparently you don't. Probably a good idea for the HP, but you don't have to be embered. There we go! Okay. Got the backstab. Wasn't confident I'd be able to parry, so... Maybe just don't have the parrying dagger. And it's fume stuff, and that's... Oh, what's Night Slayer's Ring? Fume sword, or fume knight greatsword, whatever, I don't really care about, because that's just... That's way beyond skill. That's 50 strength, so yeah, good luck with that. This is not a strength build. Although... Eh. Right, I forgot what happened to the Fumonite stuff. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so, Night Slayer Ring. Enemies lose more stamina when guarding attacks. That's... good to know. But... eh. I... I mean, that's handy, but I usually just kick them anyway. So, see, here's another suicide mission, and the problem with that is... Oh, 4,000 souls? Nah, whatever. I can lose those. So, the one thing I do want to see if I can do, I don't think I can, but maybe I can. Maybe there's a way of improving my physical defense just for a brief period, just long enough, because I don't think I'll be able to get there without that. That's, that's a bit of a ways in. Oh, yeah, I might be able to. Damn, I really wish there was an orange charge ring in this game. If there is, I'll be very happy. I just seriously doubt it. Yeah, I don't have any sorceries either. I, I checked already. None of my sorceries do this. I guess I have iron... Oh, iron flesh. There is that. I don't have it attuned. But if I have problems, I can actually cast that. Ember! And death. Actually, if I ember up... If I use that ember, I could get whatever that item is... Oops. Get whatever that item is in the front of the screen, which I just smacked my monitor with my finger, forgetting that I'm not recording myself. I'm only recording the game footage. So, yes, the thing in the middle of the screen when I was talking, whatever that item is. Nope. Okay, so Iron Flesh, not the way to go. Well, I don't know what Sacred Flame is, but we have it now. I am still curious what the heck's in the other one, though. I don't think I can find out on my own. I have no idea how I'd be able to get there. I don't think I can run fast enough while burning embers. Anyway. No, it just, just burns people. Alright, well, since I don't use Pyromancy, except for very rare occasions, I don't see the point. Bit of a shame, but... Oh well, I'll have to look that up, whatever that other item is. More important now is the sandworm, which I kept talking about and not actually going for. Now I'm going to stop talking about it and go for it. Where is magic weapon? There we go. Magic weapon. And might as well go full-on dagger mode. Okay, I don't remember exactly where this thing comes out, but I do know that if I get too close, I get hit. Ow! Like that. Yeah, if I can't... I got... Be careful right here. Ah, ah. Yeah. Ow! I was not careful! Oh, actually, I can't remember. I wonder if... I think the sandworm actually maintains HP between my encounters with it. I can't remember. That seems wrong. It doesn't make sense, but I... I seem to recall something being a bit weird about the way the sandworm worked. In terms of its damage. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I know there was something. Uh, oops. Well, that was a... Boy, I hope that ember pays off, because... Uh, okay, that was a waste. 
Oops. No. Don't need that. Need that. Need that one later. For now, need this and whatever heck's here. Ah! Oh! Right, that makes sense. Ow. If you just want the item, good luck. Which is a large Titan I shot. Ow. Okay, this is where I can actually start dealing damage. Some amount of damage. Otherwise, it's just a matter of dodging it as it burrows through the ground. Ow! Where do I go? Ah! I kind of would rather it shoot that lightning again. Ow. Yeah, if I go in front of here, it should prompt it to shoot lightning and stop just circling around in ways that don't even make a biological sense. Ow! What the heck? Okay, I... Okay. Could you please lightning? Good, thank you. Now I can cut you. And hopefully deal some... Okay, there's the damage. And heal up a bit, too, because why not? Then they're gonna move... Ow! What? Ah! Okay. So it gets very salty about people being next to it, chopping it up. And I get that. I really do. Like, you know, I... I feel your pain, but... Actually, I don't feel your pain. I feel the pain you're imposing upon me by... Ooh, nice. Dodge that. Okay, cool. Double magic weapon, but whatever. The point is, you're doing this stuff, and I can cut you because you're being distracted, and I'm not in the middle of where you are, so you're not moving, and you're also... Okay, now are you dead? Yes, you're dead! Ha! I again become the Kwisatz Haderach! Alright, oh, it's kind of useless if I'm not playing a miracle build. I mean, okay, that's not true. Undead Bone Shard is useful. There's no denying that. That's... you want that. Anyway, Sandworm Ridden, Old Demon King's the only thing left, and that'll be the entire Smoldering Lake, which... a couple episodes. But it's a fairly sizable area. I expected it would take a couple episodes. So, just gonna go and deal with them undead bone shards. And then, kill a demon. And now it is demon killing time. I'm not sure which weapon I'd rather use. The dagger or the other blades. And as well, I've got to remember, I don't need Ultrich's ruby, I don't think. Certainly not Ring of the Evil Eye. It's always a thing to bear in mind, it's like, what do you put in your ring slots? Because Ultra Ruby is probably not going to be relevant. I mean, I guess I might as well ring a favor. Or Covetous. No, Covetous, I'll gamble. I think I can deal with this. Covetous Devil Serpent Ring, go! Yep. And, of course, Magic Weapon. Oh yeah, this guy shoots a lot of things that made me really annoyed that rolling works the way it does, but that doesn't matter, because rolling does not work the same way when you're dealing with this stuff. When you're dealing with the daggers. I'm apparently flinching this thing out. Ow! Okay. Yeah, the daggers, they do stuff on button press, so it's like... All my complaints about rolling go out the window when dealing with daggers. And, of course, now we're in super mode, so I gotta be careful! Okay, let's just back off for a sec. Oh, come on. Ah. What the heck? Why do I have... What am I wearing that... Oh, shit. Okay, whatever. Just take off the pyromancy crown then. Something. I need to have... I need the ability to roll. Even though I'm not using it very much. Okay. Ow. This is easier than I expect. Ow! Nope. I'm getting cocky and losing lock on. Aha! There we go! Okay, so that's. Boy, that's the power of being able to dodge when you press a button as supposed to release it. I mean, I'm not getting. I'm. I'm not making any complaints, so anyone watch 
earlier, I did make a video a while ago, about a year back, about the roll systems in the in Dark Souls 3. And the fact that you roll when you release the button rather than pressing the button, but with the quick step on the daggers, you get iframes the moment you press the button. And, well, we just saw the power there. I was stuck onto that Demon King like nothing, and I used maybe one Estus Flask. So, yeah, it's good. It's a really useful piece of kit. So anyway, with the old Demon King done, that's pretty much Smoldering Lake. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing demons in their... in their nadir, in, in the autumn of their years, the twilight of their existence. Because we're going over to the Earthhole Dungeon next, so... we won't be seeing this much longer. Oh wait, I'd probably say goodbye. No! Oh wait, no, I don't quite want to say goodbye yet. Let's see what the demon, old Demon King has. And then we'll call it. I can't remember if it has anything I really want. I think it's just a hammer and a pyromancy. I mean, demons are basically part of the whole Chaos Flame thing, which is the origin of pyromancy, so yeah, you get uh -huh. demons and demons become pyromancies. Okay, so Chaos Bed Vestiges, yeah, that's pyromancy. Can't use it, not enough faith. Pretty close, though, but again, not pyromancy. And Old King's Great Hammer, which is a strength weapon. Oh well, that's cool. So that is that. So, I guess I'll just use that soul for souls. Anyway, for the time being, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and until next time, enjoy things.